What's up? Welcome back to another YouTube video. But before I get started on anything, I want to thank you guys for fucking with my last video so heavy. Bro, I didn't think I could get 90 views in two days. Well, by the time I recorded this or uploaded, it, it's probably going to be more, but today is a Monday. Just let y'all know. I'll probably upload this bitch Friday. Thank y'all for commenting, liking, sharing with your friends. And man, I feel very good. I'm going to do this YouTube shit full time. So I'll upload weekly, probably two times a week if I have the time for it. You know what I'm saying? But um, since you guys were fucking with my last video so heavy, the first pe three people to comment, you will get a shout out. That's just that simple. The first three people to comment, you will get a shout out. Without further ado, let's get straight into the story. So look, back in seventh grade, right, I used to sell candy bars. Like, I used to be out there hustling, flipping the candy bars. And I grinded all the way up to like 400 bucks, bro. It's fly, drippy. Now, I didn't even buy nothing yet, so. I, I was out there selling them. Getting my money right. Getting my money right, flipping back. So, I had like $400 profit, so I was out here chilling. Yeah. I was out here chilling. So one weekend, I go to my brother's house, my big brother's. I'm over here at his house chilling, whatever. And I was like, bro, I'm to go next door because there's a school or whatever, right? I said, I'm to go next door and who? Play some basketball. You know, I'm the greatest basketball player in the world, so yeah. I went ahead, I hopped a little fence or whatever. I went over there, I was hooping up. I was hoping shooting balls or whatever. I was hoping up. So, I was over there, right? And then, like, there's this little white boy. He was probably older than me. At the time, I was like 12. Bro, I was probably like 15 or 16. And bro was like, hey, bro, I got this Louis Vuitton belt. You try to come see, try to come check it out? And I was like, yeah, cool. So we started shooting hoops for a little bit. Then he went to the crib, right? Came back with the box, everything. Real loot. It looked like a real ass Louis Vuitton belt. Looked real as a motherfucker. I was like, oh, for real? I don't. I was an inch about how much, but I knew what they were because all my friends had belts, Gucci belts, all that type of shit. Even though they had the still or rob them or whatever, but they had belts. So I was like, fuck it, bro. Just give me one too. So I said, how much you want, bro? He said, bro, this is brand new, bro. Give me one hundred. I'll give it to you. I was like, what had you done? I was in my house. Bro, I'm about to scam this. All right, bro. Here. So I whipped out a hundo on him. So I gave him a hundred. I thought I was clear. I walked back to the crib with the belt on. I was like, oh, shit. That's what I fucking fired. My family hyped me up. Ooh, that's nice. So hold up, bro. I'll buy it off of you. I was like, nah, I'm cool. So basically, right, I tell my sis. I lived with my sister at the top. I tell her to stop the car. Drive me over to to the mall, I bought some new shoes, new outfit. I thought I was that nigga, I thought I was drip, drip E. I was in that motherfucker, I had the belt, the, ch the new J's, whatever type of shirt I was wearing. I thought I was that bitch clean, so breath. Come around next week, at school, right? I'm chilling in class with my belt. And bro asked me, bro that's sitting next to me, I was already asking, he said, bro, is your belt real? I was like, yeah, nigga, it's real. He said, take it off, let me see the thing. So, I didn't know we were a time bus supposed to have bar colors, my nigga. I did not know. So, bro, I ended up taking off the belt, right? Like, real life. I took off the belt. I said, bro, right here, my nigga. My shit was definitely real. He said, so he looked at it. He is it. He looked at the front. Everything was cool. My nigga looked at the back. He looked up at me. Dead ass through his face. He was like, Bro, your shit fit. I said, oh, bro, you play. Stop playing with this nigga. Nah, bro, your shit fake. Where was this motherfucking bed? Bro, it's not even bed where it's supposed to be at. I was like, oh. I damn near started crying. Everybody was laughing and everything. They was like, oh, bro, your belt fake. Oh. Nigga, damn. Can never wear that bitch again. So this ended up what happened, there, right? There's a lot of shit that happened after the belt, but I'll give that to y'all at a different story time. That shit gonna be fire. Watch out for next week. So I went to the crib like two weeks later. I had the belt. There's this lady downstairs, a cat lady. Every if you live in the apartment, every apartment got a cat lady. No matter where you're at, there's a cat lady. 
you know a cat lady, your mama know a cat lady, nigga, this is a cat lady. So basically, right, I over there, now I'm walking down, she said, hey, she said, hey, Dominique, so she has me, she has me some snacks, she always has me snacks, so I'm, a, I'm a big dude, I like to eat, so I'm over here. So she's talking to me, she said, you still got that Louis Vuitton belt? I said, yeah. She said, I'll give you 50 bucks for it. I said, 50 dollars. I try to make a sound real, so I scammed her too. So basically, all right. So I sold her the belt, whatever. She gave me like 75 bucks. I was like, damn, I'll take that. For sure. I took the 75 bucks. I don't know what I did with them, with them dollars. But look, to that white boy who scammed me on my money, listen here, listen, nice and close. And I catch you, I'm beating your eyes and robbing you because you finessed me. Nigga, I'm the finester. I finesse people. You don't finesse me, bro. But, bro, that's the end of the story, bro. Make sure, bro, like, comment, subscribe. Tell your friends about me, bro. Get me to 1K. Get me to 1K. Get your boy Dominique to 1K. It's that simple. Until next time, I'll catch y'all.